What is up guys, welcome to another video and today we are back for another episode of Community Showcase, the final episode of 2015. It's mad, this year has gone so quick and yes, this is the December edition of Community Showcase. Now, we have a lot of good entries this week. Uh, there is so many, it's a bit ridiculous. Um, um, before we go ahead and show them, I'm just going to quickly talk about how you guys can get your um, cars onto Community Showcase if you really want to. So, um, if you want to go ahead and actually submit a car for this series uh, for next month for the January 2016 episode, uh, make sure to go ahead and go down to straighttophippo.com, just type that in your URL, and then in the first block of of, um, of like forum post things, you'll see community cars. Click on community cars, follow the, all the instructions, and then press OK. And that's basically it. That's all you gotta do. And then your car is eligible to be in um, community showcase the following week. And um, with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get straight in to this month's entries. So firstly, we're gonna go ahead and show all the Need for Speed 2015 entries, and then afterwards, we're gonna go ahead and obviously show all the Need for Speed 2015 entries. Um, so first up, we have Flat 4 Gaming's Jeep, which is gone ahead and made on Forza Horizon 2, um, which looks very odd. I don't really know what to make of this, to be honest. Um, and then up next, we have Feely and the Dragons Cross Corvette remake from Midnight Club LA. It's still mad to think um, that people are still playing this game, but you know, very, very nice nevertheless. Uh, next up, we have Broyles. Um, I think this is an IS 300 with the Rocket Bunny kit on, and oh my lord, obviously made an S tuner. It looks absolutely amazing. The next guy we have is Tyus, I think he said his name was. I've, I, I, sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Um, and this is his Evo in World, which again looks extremely nice. I'm loving that kind of Japan theme on the front. And the next one is from Venom Lakes. Now you're probably thinking that's a Hot Wheels car, isn't it? Well, he went ahead and remade it in more fucking carbon. How good that, that looks so nice. It looks really, really good. It, it's such, such a good remake. That's the only thing you can really say about it. And I really like when people do that kind of stuff. It's just really unique and really interesting. Uh, anyway, we're going to go into the next car, and this is from Next Gaming, and he's going ahead and made a straight up Evo R32 in Photoshop. Yes, this is Photoshop. He photoshopped the car, the scene, everything. And oh my lord, that looks insane. Uh, another amazing entry. You guys are just absolutely awesome. Some of the cars, I swear, this week are just insane. Um, so yeah, those were the non Need for Speed entries. And now we're going to go ahead and get onto the big bulk of this episode, which are, you know, the Need for Speed entries. So the first entry is from Arian Seif. I hope I've said your name right again. Um, but this is his S15, kind of based around the car throttle theme colours, which looks again looks really, really nice. Um, nice to see some people, you know, making those Need for Speed 2015 entries. And uh, the next one is from Desolar Ridge, and this is his Lamborghini. Um, very, very nice indeed. Very simple. Uh, up next we have Milad, and this is his R34. And oh my God. The livery on that is absolutely insane. I don't even want to know how long that took you. Um, um, up next, we have Air Revision's Akina S15. I think it is an S15. Um, of course it's an S15 cam. What am I, what am I playing at? Um, and again, looks really, really nice. I think, I can't remember what the name is, but I know it's from Initial D, and I know it's one of the character's cars, which looks very, very nice indeed. And then finally, we have Toma with this beautiful BMW M4. You might remember this from Gamescom. This was actually the BMW uh, M4, which was on the Need for Speed Gamescom stage, so yeah, really nice job there. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the um, the, the movie clips, the actual video clips, which people have sent in from Need Speed 2015, and then uh, yeah, we're going ahead and close the video. So let's go ahead to the next part. So up first we have Nixter's MX-5. This is the 2017 MX-5, I believe, or 2016 MX-5, and looks pretty goddamn nice. Um, you know, obviously gone for the black with the kind of green things on the side. Not sure what I think of the green, the black, and the silver kind of uh, color scheme, but I've got to say the livery does look very nice indeed. Not my personal taste, but again, who gives a fuck? If it's your car, so if you like it, then you like it, and that's all that really matters. Uh, next up we have Freaky versus Gaming, and oh. My, look at that Fox body Mustang. That is absolutely insane. He's gone for the 69 number on the side. You know, it's been stickered up. It's got a bandage across his fucking forehead. It looks absolutely mad. And I've got to say, he's done a really nice job. Look at the size of the freaking lip spoiler, the wing on the back. Look at the, oh my lord. It's bigger than my house. It, it, well, it's not, but, you know, that's besides the point. It's freaking huge. Uh, and I've got to say, overall, he's done an absolutely amazing job with his 
Fox Bunny Mustang. I think that's one of the cars which I'm still yet to try out on Need for Speed 2015. And just looking at the back of that spoiler, I'm going to have to because it looks freaking mad. Uh, anyway, with that being said, we're going to go on to the next car. And speaking of the next car, it's another Ford. And this time it's a Mustang. Well, not any Mustang. This is the RTR Mustang. And holy moly, you might remember this car from Need for Speed The Run. I also believe Von Gittin Jr. drove it for a while, for a while or drove it for a while. And again, looks really nice. Very simplistic. I'm pretty sure James Mount's AI in the game. He drives this car too. And I've got to say, he's in a pretty god, god, god good damn job of recreating this R RTR Mustang. Even the freaking stickers on the window, everything looks mad about this car. JDM Gaming, give yourself a pat on the back. Very, very nice indeed. Anyway, we're going to go on to the next car, which is from Shazor. I hope again I said that right. I'm really sorry if I'm like just completely slating everyone's names. But regardless, this is his Rocket Bunny 180SX and again, looks very, very nice indeed. Some of these entries are just absolutely absurd and I really like how he's gone ahead and customised this 180SX. It's no different to many of the other entries from this week. I don't get how a lot of you guys do it. They really, just, some of them just look absolutely phenomenal. Anyway, we're going to go on to the next car, which is from the Huggable Virus, and it's this clean RWB Porsche. I don't know which year or model this is from, but I know it's not the RSR one. It's the other one. It's like the 93... Porsche, I think. I might be wrong on that one, though. And he's gone for a very simplistic, clean look. Obviously gone with those um, those tyres, the special tyre engravings. He's got some Magnus Walker stickers around there, as well as some RWB stickers. And besides that, it's pretty goddamn clean. The, the, you know, he's got the diffuser to back it up, and he's obviously gone for the licence plate and all that kind of jazz. Um, it's, again, just a very clean, white RWB Porsche. And who doesn't like RWB Porsches? They're very, very nice. Um, even people who don't like Porsche generally... They usually like this car. I say usually because every, obviously everyone's different. Anyway, we're going to go on to the last car, which is a super drag a drag build. And it looks absolutely phenomenal. Everything to just how big the, the, the tires are and the tire choice and like even the sticker bomb, the exhaust, all very, very nice indeed. He's gone for the JUN front bumper as well as the side skirts. And it's just overall a very, very nice car. And that was this month's edition of Kia Mew showcase so if you guys enjoyed hit the like subscribe i will see you guys in the next one you guys have been awesome if you want to go ahead and send your entries for community showcase the link is down in the description below and i will see you guys later stay safe and peace